Welcome to your activation, Gemini. Exciting. Okay, so Gemini, um, one thing I want to say before we get started is if uh, there's going to be different activations coming out each day. Some of them might be the same, um, but others might be different, right? So if there's other ones that you see that appeal to you, if you're like, oh dang, wish, you know, that was my star sign that got that one just from the title, go and watch it because then you might need that one as well. Okay, so yeah, right. We're using Work Your Light Oracle, um, and I pulled just the activation cards out of here to use for this um, round. Sacred Spirit reading cards to see why you need this activation or what is going on, that this activation is going to come out for you. Um, and the Light Seer's Tarot for a little bit more information and clarification. Okay, Gemini, I tell you, I'm just so excited about this. Okay, so let's just give these a good shuffle here. Ground your light. Let your soul shine, Gemini. Oh, I really feel like this is about you needing to get um, out into nature, maybe um, sit or walk on the earth barefoot. Okay, um really yeah I feel like actually this is gonna it's like it's gonna wake up your chakra system to be honest with you it's like it's kind of like watering a plant in a sense it's it's like your soul really really needs this but I also feel like there's something that needs to be anchored in um you know, whether it's like this, it's because it kind of feels like, because, okay, let me just explain what I'm seeing here. I'm seeing that this here, this to me represents the chakra system, even though, though not all the chakras are lit up, okay? So there may be some that requires work, okay? And I'm seeing the chakra down here, but to me it's like this is coming into the earth, like it needs to go into the earth. So I feel like you imagining... A, a light coming from up here because we've got this light here right and I feel like this here come, needs to come through the top of your head through your crown chakra down through your body and into the earth connect to the crystalline grid and bring it back up again okay back to the highest source of light this is what I feel very strongly and that needs to happen and I feel like for you Gemini this may help to break any patterns that you're trying to break at the moment potentially um, also there might be a need for you to drink more water for some of you tell me more about ground your light for Gemini please temperance Look at this, getting this balance in, evening things out, um, transmuting energies, I feel like, getting the healing done that needs to be healed, um, kind of like, kind of like bringing everything in together in a sense, and like, a little bit like, you know, Oh, it's a bit like a science thing. This is what I'm seeing here, like bringing in all these elements to see what works with what. Okay, that might be, yeah, for some of you, um, whatever is going in your, with your life, going on in your life, um, that that might need to happen, but I'm also seeing the light at the top of his head here and bringing this in, right? Um, yeah, so one more card for, what is it? Ground your light. I can't even remember what it is. <laughs> okay, ground your light. One more card for ground. It's not one card. One card. There we go. Oh, I just caught it. That was good reflexes. Ten of Cups. Wow. Okay, see? 
So this is bringing in to see what works together, right? It's kind of like getting everything into order to see if the how the colours are going to blend and how they're going to complement one another and all this kind of thing. Um, this could even be blended families for some of you. Okay. Um, wow, this is so cool. Ten of Cups. Like, this is just happily ever after family thing, you know. Um, so this, this very may well be, Gemini, that there's some healing that you need to do in order to bring this in to your life. Okay. Um, I feel like maybe for some of you there might be some need to compromise. Um, yeah. Um, I'm just feeling like that it might not be a relationship necessarily for some of you. This could be laying um, something down for, um, for a business of some sort or a career um you building up that's kind of like um i'm kind of seeing this building up of things bringing different things into play to see how it all blends together um to to kind of add on to maybe what you're already what you've already planned yeah um, third eye vision, reclaim your mind. Yeah, uh, I really feel like there's a lot of debris floating around in your your mind, Gemini. And I do want to say to you to sit down and write things down. Get things out of your mind. Don't hold on to them. I would, if, if there's something you're mulling over, especially if it's to do with a business or even a relationship or even your emotions, right? Sit down and write them down. It's going to get them out and it's going to clear the way for this connection to be clear. Okay, because this doing this connection um, with this light going through, it's going to help clear your energy field, okay, for you to make the best decision to move forward for yourself. Okay, so yeah, so let's have a look at third eye vision um, and also, you know, to help stop these thoughts running around reclaim your mind Gemini you know um it, it really is a case of not allowing the thoughts to have that control over you and I know that sometimes it feels like you can't do that or of course the thoughts you know they're always there but the fact of the matter is Gemini that um you can actually um through you know, going into the silence and, and allowing this light to come through, just be in a state of stillness. Thoughts are going to do what they do, but it's whether you entertain them with them or not. Do you want to sit down and have a cup of tea with the thought that's coming into your mind? You know, if it's a thought of, oh God, I'm so ugly or I'm so terrible at this, are you going to sit down and entertain that? Don't do it. It's up to you. You have that choice, right? So this is this thing of reclaim your mind. Get control over it. You have control over that, Gemini. No one else, okay? Only you, okay? So we've got the three of pentacles here. So I feel like this is really looking at what it is that you are building, okay? Like with this ten of cups, okay? What colors are working together and um, working with other people to make that happen okay getting different points of view from people bringing people in that you think oh, i wouldn't really work with them getting their point of view because they may have someone something valuable to add here okay oh we have the two of cups as well with the ten of cups here wow yeah this could be about a relationship for some of you okay um working together could be someone that you're working with um, but anyhow, working together to make things work. See, again, I'm seeing this blending here. So there's something to do with this blending. Um, the Nine of Wands. Interesting that this has come up. Uh, again, this is these thoughts running around in your mind, right? Um, this... I do want to say, Gemini, that there's something that sets your soul on fire, okay? And it's kind of like 
I think you need to really, yeah, because she's holding on to the wand that sets her soul on fire because the fire to me is here. This is telling me that there's something that sets your soul on fire. It could be that all these other wands here, uh, they're not ignited, okay? It seems like these wands here were used to build a bit of a fence, a bit of a wall of protection for you. I, I feel like, Gemini, you can let those go now. And it wasn't that high to begin with. <laughs> um, you know, you can easily step over that and leave those behind and bring with you your guiding wand, this, this, this passion. Okay, so, yeah, that's pretty cool. Anyway, Gemini, okay, I think, I think the message is clear <laughs> eternal union new love is forming um obviously you know we've got the obvious in the picture here but i do want to say this could be a new love for yourself or a new love as in a new passion you know there's something that you you decide to invest your energy into um that that does ignite your soul um so so please don't just think of this as you know oh it's a love wedding blah 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 um, you know, yeah, because I'm not really a big one about love readings, to be honest, but sometimes the message comes through and it's just unavoidable, you know, that's how it is. Um, but this also, Gemini, is about this energy that you're vibrating. Remember that um, actions speak louder than words. I do want to say that, okay, and vibration also has its own language too. Okay, in your heart here, what it is, is it that you're vibrating out? Okay, really consider that um, because whatever it is that you're vibrating out will come back to you. Okay, um, yeah, really, really cool. Okay, so two cards for eternal union this could also be this eternal union here this connection here maybe you end up falling in love in love with this connection you know and um and this may very well help to increase that vibration that um that you are sending out you know it could be that gemini okay so let's have a look two cards for eternal union here Two cards for eternal union. Oh, I can't wait to see what the activation is. Okay, here's one. Whoops. The High Priestess. Look at this. Yeah, man, that energy, standing in that energy, right? And also, like, even though not everything is clear, um, sorry, just let me, um, I do want to say that, you know, using your intuition is the important thing. But I feel like these two energies are the same here. So this connection and also this here coming down here is this connection in here, right? You've got the moon. She's bringing the moon down, but it's kind of like um, highlighting something. What is it highlighting exactly? Maybe it's highlighting the connection. Um, or maybe it's simply representing the connection with source. Whoops. Got this card here. Queen of Pentacles. <laughs> I love this. I love this. Look at this here. Look at her sitting there. She's so... She's in this state of knowing. There's this inner knowing within her. Look at these energies here, right? You know, she's even like, I can be a deer. I just need the twigs to be coming out of my head. And I'm a deer, you know? Like, and, and she sits there and basks in that glory. You know, no shame, no embarrassment. Just with um, a real sense of, of standing in her power. I absolutely adore this for you. Not a care in the world. She's built this up herself. She has built this up herself. She has done what she needed to do. She has connected in here. You know, she's gone and she's cleared this debris away here. 
she's done that and she's accepted this eternal union and the eternal union realistically is with source itself because it is eternal even when we pass it's never it, that doesn't break our connection with source because we are source right so this eternal union is absolutely incredible anyhow oh this is so cool anyway oh yeah i've got my um i've got the the activation written on my computer because the writing is so blim and tiny in the book that i'm gonna be like uh, gemini what is this like that anyway uh living light energy see the beauty in life wow there's so much like there's ground your light there's like this light here there's all this light you know there's this here which is this vibration of light very interesting anyhow <sighs> gemini see here I, th this to me looks like a graveyard looks like a graveyard right and you've got this tree lit up in the middle of what looks like a graveyard to me and um, it's kind of like this thing of focusing on what it is that you can grow Focusing on, on this light, you know, on grounding, because the tree's grounded, right? It's This is a depiction of what this looks like here, okay? So the tree is grounded into the earth, and it's connecting in with the crystalline grid, yeah? And then it's using the elements around it, blending those together, right, to grow and shine its light. Even when everything else around it is done and dusted, it still shines its light. Even when everything else is lost, it still shines its light. So Gemini, shine your light. This is what I feel is happening. Like, this is what I feel this message is about for you to shine your light. Living light energy, see the beauty in life, yeah. Not focusing on the things that you've lost, you know, really reclaiming your mind, clearing those out of your mind, because they're not going to give you the life force energy that you need in order to keep growing, in order to keep moving forward, in order to make this connection of ground your light and the eternal union, yeah. Magician. This is you, Gemini. This is totally you, right? This is this magician. Um, yeah, like I said, using the elements to bring in, to, to create life. To really create life. Okay, I'll take these two then. The moon. The moon again, that's interesting, eh? Because I noticed it in this one here. The moon, not everything's clear, Gemini. You're not always going to know the way. And she's sinking to the bottom of the water here. Um, for some of you, I feel like the, your emotions could be getting on top of you. Okay. And so with the mission, m mission with the magician, um, I feel like it's really a matter of you needing to transmute those emotions, send them to the higher source of light for transmutation. Okay, don't let them weigh that you down um, because there is light, Gemini. There is light, okay, that guides you. But if you're under the water here, see the moon here is a guiding light. But when you're under the water and immersed under the all the emotions, it's more difficult to see this light, okay? And we also have the star. I love this, Gemini. I love this. And here's this connection again, right? The connection is going down into the earth and up to the star. And this could be something that even you do at night. You know that you sit under the full moon. It could be a full moon ritual. But I would recommend to do it every day. Um, even the new moon. You know, it could be, could be, you know, something that you do on the new moon and the full moon. You know, you could find some things on on. YouTube here. Gosh, look at our time. We need to move on, move on. Okay, so spiritual evolution. Set your heart free. I love this. This, I feel like, 
he's walking out of the darkness here into the light right um i feel like this is a matter of to keep going on your path gemini um again this light this light shining down setting yourself free all right set your heart free and with this vibration here with this here on um the hand on the heart and the vibration honestly like I do really feel like this is you making another choice to go in another direction, right? Tell me more about spiritual evolution, though. Here we go, two cards, five swords. Yeah, these picking thoughts, pick, pick, pick at your head. It's giving you a headache. You've done with it. You need to find ways to get that under control because, like I say, reclaim your mind. You have control over that. You have control about those thoughts, okay? Ten of Wands, putting those burdens down. It's like this this buffalo here is carrying all this baggage here. It's baggage. Put it down, Gemini. You don't need to take it with you. This guy here, he's walking from the darkness into the light. He has no baggage with him. He's put it all down. He's put the baggage down. And I really do feel like this is a choice that you have to do is to put the baggage down, okay? Yeah, very cool. And also, I'm seeing these here, these posts, and it reminds me of this one here. So this is like, she just needs to leave, leave that there, because it's almost like the buffalo's too, got too much baggage to carry up the hill. But if that was just left there, she could easily walk up the hill and leapt this passion that she has ignited, this, this fire inside of her soul, lead the way. Man. Gemini spirit messages, observe your limitations. Yep. Um, you know, be patient with yourself. Be kind to yourself. Um, give yourself time. Not everything has to be done all at once. Um I also feel like this ground your light is going to create the connection for you to clear your energy um, in order to allow spirit messages to come through. This could be that you are going to be communicating with spirit if you're not already. But by doing this, that, that, that communication is going to be a lot stronger. We've got the Knight of Wands here. Look at this. Look at this. This is this passion I was talking about, right? playing with it like yeah getting into it yeah um rather than having it like this kind of energy here um and oh yeah i just love that energy this is this carefree let everything go energy not carrying these ten of wands not carrying the nine of wands and not letting these pesky thoughts bug you all the time and then great thing is we have the Queen of Wands next, right? <laughs> like Gemini. Wow. Um, yeah, man. She knows. She knows, man. She knows what this passion. She knows how to how to deal with this passion. And whether this is in love or whether this is something that you know you want to pursue as a as a hobby or a business or whatever, she knows how to handle it. Boy, oh boy, does she know how to handle it. She's not only got a handle on it, but she spreads it around. She spreads that light around. And I can tell you now, man, you know. She's taken that fire off the wand here and she's got a handle on it, right? She's got it in her hand. She's like, and guess what? It doesn't even burn. And maybe that's the case. Maybe you're afraid of a new relationship because you're afraid of getting burned. Um, so anyway, let's have a look here, Gemini, what, um, what your activation is going to be. Okay. So we'll just... Okay. Gemini, Gemini, Anna, grandmother of Jesus, seeding the light, I am not kidding, seeding the light, laying foundations, divine plan, check it out, can you see that clearly, I'm not kidding, 
Look at this. That's beautiful. Okay, Gemini. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. So I'm going to read out the meaning of the card to you, and then we're going to do the activation, okay? Okay, Gemini. Wow. Anna, grandmother of Jesus, was an ancient mystic who dedicated her life to laying the foundations for Christ consciousness to be woven through all of life. Oh, I love that. See, I just want to pick up cards as I see it's like this, weaving things through life, right? And that, um, anyway, I won't do that. Sorry, just let me read. Okay. Um, she is not widely known, but without her presence. Oh, sorry. She is not widely known, but without her Christ consciousness would not be rising as it is today. Anna represents the quiet dedication that is sometimes required to live a life of service. She represents the generations that came before that devoted their lives to dreaming a new world into being while knowing that they would not see the glorious end result. She represents the dutiful soldier, the unconditional mother, and the mystic who can see the thread that is woven through all of life. Anna teaches us that we have a part to play in the divine plan. It doesn't have to be on the world stage to be significant. One person's part is not worthier than another. One person's part may be to mother their children. Another's may be to gather women in a circle each month. No part is better or worse, more important or less significant. We each have within us a seed of light that we incarnated to share. Yes. Anna is gathering us all to remember and surrender to our part of the plan. Wow. Wow. That's incredible. Okay. Right, Gemini. So normally you would place the card on your heart and, you know, say the activation, but of course we can't do that. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold the card for you to look at and just place your left hand on your heart and then I'm going to read a few words at a time and just repeat them after me out loud. Okay, Gemini? Right. Beloved Anna, thank you for laying the foundations for the divine plan. May the seeds of light within me be revealed and may I surrender to my part of the divine plan. Gemini, beautiful. Um, Gemini, come back and do this every day, okay? I feel like grounding, connecting in to the earth and doing this, you know, from above, so below, so below, as above, right? Doing that and doing this activation is really going to help you to sow those seeds for you to really shine your light, okay? Um the other thing, Gemini, is that if, did I say this at the beginning? That if you see another reading to, you know, that you're drawn to, to do that as well. And, um, yeah, look, Gemini, um, please, please um, subscribe and share and like and comment down below how, how this is working for you, how, you know, you're going with it. Um, the thing is, Gemini, that really I'm doing these readings to help you, to help other people, okay? I'm so invested in um, in helping the world to raise up, and, and this is all part of it. So as part of that, you know, these readings are free, and so as part of that exchange, if you could do that, I would be ever so grateful to you. Okay, 
my fellow Geminis, because I'm a Gem too. Yes, I am. So I'm super excited to have this activation. So excited. Okay, Gemini, take care of your beautiful selves. See you. Bye-bye.